Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. In this session, I will explain you about how to use default argument or keyword argument in function. So, if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. In my earlier session, I have already discussed about what is function in Python or how we can use it and their rules of the function. So if you are interested to watch that, please say in my description tab. I have already mentioned over there. So you can create the function because this is the next step for using keyword or default arguments, which will help you to call the function in different terms uh, with their parameters. So let's begin with this uh, default argument or keyword based argument. So this is the terminal which we are going to show you. So before starting in actual code, let me explain you about this. So default argument is a parameter that assumes a default value if a value is not provided in the function call for that argument. A default argument is an argument that assumes a default value if a value is not provided in the function call for that argument. So as we have seen in the various programming language, just take an example of C++ default argument, any number of arguments in a function can have a default value. But once we have a default argument, all the arguments to its right must also have default value for calling inside the function. So let's create one example to show you how we can create it for the default and keyword based argument. So let's create first for the default argument, then we will see on keyword based argument. So first we have to use def function or define a student result inside this we will show you here how we can differentiate the value just like class equal to ninth. So this is the value I provided here. Second I will need I need to print it here. Print or let's see the logic how we can build it. This is from plus class. Okay. Next, we have to provide the actual value inside our function. So, a student is my a student result is my function name where. I am going to provide it here as um, let's say 8 then again student the same function name which we are going to use it here 7 next again student result so i am keeping this as a default i will explain you once execution is completed so fourth i am giving here as a, a student result side 6 let me run this
showing some error here. Up. Class is also a keyboard. So let me provide it here. Value. Or. Standard. Then we have to change. Standard. And run the code. So you can see here, this is from its standard 7, 9. Why 9 is printed here? Because we have kept here default argument or we can see that default value which is present inside my function, same value should be printed in my response. So by this way, we can see that we have covered on the default value. So because we have provided here the default value on standard 9 is standard equal to 9 because of that it's printed 9 and rest other value it is called up based on the input which we have provided. So this is how it looks on the default value. Let me explain you about keyword. So first we'll see about the definition and what it means are uh, uh, argu keyword arguments so keyword arguments are related to the function call when we use keyword arguments in the function call the caller identifies the argument by their parameter name this allows us to skip arguments or place them out of order because of the python interpreter is able to use the keywords provided to match the value with parameters so let me show you one example based on keyword argument then you will understand about this so i'm keeping same here and i'm just deleting or let me modify this here as well so keeping here the same student result but changing the parameters inside this so just like I'm giving here as a student name John, then add you, then Malini. Cool. Next, print the value. Marks. of here we are giving as a student name as Malini cool. then we are inside the function we are going to call or define the value again so my function name is the student result then a student result i am showing here as a value called as john equal to some value uh, just like 23 marks then comma add a equal to thirty four marks then final one is Malini equal to Sixty-seven marks. So let me run this and show you the result. So as you can see here, we have provided the student name, but inside the student name here we have declared their value or their marks value, which is printed on this. 
so this is called the keyword so we have used here the student name as a keyword and calling their marks by using this so this is the basic or we can see that most advanced feature of keyword argument which we can use it inside the function hope you understand it so let's move to the next part that is variable length argument so variable length argument is that mean we can have both normal and keyword both just like default and keyword both variable number of arguments inside our functions which will help to create a complex function as per our requirements so this is all about default argument as well as keyword arguments let's recap this we have started with the default argument definition then we have created one example based on that example we have printed the value or student result and over there we have not mentioned in one of the fields the class is empty it took default arguments then we have discussed about keyword arguments keyword arguments and their definition then we have created this example based on the example it is printed the marks with their keyword that is the actual value then third and finally variable length arguments which means we can use both the arguments together to create a complex function so this is all about our contain Hope you liked it. If you really enjoyed this video, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Thank you for watching.